Have you ever heard of the term size matters? Wait, we're talking RVs, right? Yes, we are talking about RVs, Russ. Relevant, relatable, and reliable information from full-time RVers. Today we're going to tell you why we think small campers are your best choice for RVing. Now if you're a big RV fan, go ahead and roast us. <laughs> Even if you're not going to watch the video, tell us down below why we are wrong. Now the first thing, you have more options to tow with. Yeah, you know, when you have a small RV, you can tow it with these SUVs, you can tow it with a van like we do, you've got trucks. You don't need a $70,000 F450 Dually Diesel Pro Supermax or anything. Now, if you go really small, you can tow a MyPod with a motorcycle. That's right, that's right. Now, what else can you get? You have more options at campgrounds. That's right. You know, I recently ran into this when I was traveling solo without Carrie. Uh, we called a campground. It was a holiday weekend. Which holiday weekend was Labor it? Day. Labor Day weekend. Last minute, called them and said, sorry, we don't have any options. I said, darn it. And he said, well, what do you have? I said, I've got a 21-foot travel trailer. And he says, you know what? We've got a spot. We've got one spot that's only big enough for a Class B, but with that little trailer, I think you can fit in here. So, boom, huge advantage right there. Not to mention national parks often have size limits, so you should always check that, but smaller RVs, never a problem. Exactly. More space. That's right. Now, you, you kind of think that you wouldn't get more space with a smaller camper, but... Yeah, Carrie threw me off for a minute. I was like, more space? But no, what Carrie's talking about is we have more space at a campground. For example, that little campground that we are at, there was more space since I had a little trailer. And recently, here in Surfside, Texas, we went to a campsite that had this huge area. I mean, like 70 foot of, of camping space. It can fit space. any size rig, but... Yeah. We had a massive front lawn. We could play football in our spot because and we didn't take up much of our space. That's right. And that's where Carrie got the name of Mobac because when I was pulling back into that thing, she's like, Mobac, 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 Mobac. <laughs> I so, didn't even know if I knew that That's where Carrie got the name of Mobac from. Now, one of the reasons why we went back into our little trailer more access to remote locations. That's right. You know, there are a lot of places that you can't get to when you have a big rig. When we were in Boone, that big old 34-foot Class A, we had a problem getting to areas, whether it was ground clearance, mm -hmm. whether it was space fitting in between, between trees or the, the trail. And also, here's a thing that we talk about. You know, a lot of time people think, I've got to have more space. I've got to have more space when they're thinking about their RV. Now, interior space always isn't everything. Uh, we're talking about exterior space, places we can go. We actually have more space that we can explore in our little trailer. Now, with all things that give, take away. Oh, so what yeah. do you have less of with a small trailer? Yeah. You have less maintenance. That's right. You know, th with a small trailer, th there's usually less things that go wrong. And it's us usually a lot simpler to fix. There are many times that Carrie and I have had issues in our little guy, Max, mm -hmm. that we've been able to self-rescue. Thank God, because sometimes we're out in those really remote places that we couldn't go with Boone, and we'd had to self-rescue. Now, this one was one of the deciding factors when we were first shopping. Less room needed to store at your house if you live in suburbia or you have a small driveway. Yeah. Guess what you can fit in your driveway? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, there are, a, I don't know how much they cost because we haven't had to do it, but um, I would imagine a couple hundred bucks a month minimum. I don't know. But we never had to pay storage fees because we had enough room in our little driveway at our house. And a lot of small trailers you can actually fit in your garage That's as well. That's right. True. Very true and less intimidating. That's right. Carrie, how many miles have you driven our old Class A Boone? 300 feet. <laughs> now, how many miles have you towed our little trailer back there? Over 400 miles, which for me is huge. Yeah, yeah. No, it is very much so less intimidating. You know, when we were driving our Class A, Carrie had to, she would check the um, the aerial view of every gas station we went in. And now I'm like, you know what? If, if, the, if I would go in there with my van, I can tow 
the trailer in there. So it is so much more or less intimidating. And it's not only by towing, it's also just the complexity of things. You know, for a beginner RVist or RVer, RVer. Um, a small trailer is very nice to get into because you're not worried about all these things that can go wrong and maybe will go wrong. Now, if you were on the fence whether to get a big RV or a little RV, we hope that these things gave you something to think about.